Hey there, Postal here. So uh, today we're looking at the IL-10, um, and we're going to be having a game that's quite the opposite of what we were just uh, seeing in the ME-265. Um, this game that you're going to see is, you know, your standard ground pounder um, foray, really. Um, doing what you want your ground attack planes to do, just kind of going from sector to sector and flipping and moving on, right? Um, I'm quite enjoying this particular plane. Uh, it's not, you know, like my go-to plane by any means, nor is the 265, which I'm quite enjoying as well. Um, but I mean, it's a nice change of pace. It's a nice uh, break uh, for my day sometimes. Right now I'm just literally playing, uh, you know, getting my, my times three or times two or times five or whatever is going on for them. Um, but I, I do believe I'm getting a little bit more of the hang of it. Um, even though it's not the most exciting gameplay, I think uh, you guys will enjoy today's game. We'll see. Let's hop into it. Alright, so unfortunately I thought I had recorded this, or was recording it live, and I didn't have uh, the recorder going. So we're going to see how well Wargaming's um, replay system is for ground pounders. Um, it's definitely not the best when it comes to fighters and heavy fighters. I'm not sure that the, um, the lineup on the guns and everything is going to make that big of a difference for a ground attack plane, but we're going to see. Uh, so taking a look at the lineup, we've got an ME-265 on the enemy team, and we've got the Spitfire 5 Premium. On our team, we've got a Yak-1M, so I'm thinking to myself, well, we've got a, um, you know, a counter for that Spitfire. They're both specialized, and then I'll be the counter for the 265. So in this kind of instance, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see me holding down the R2 button, uh, but I was trying to see, trying to line up my bomb sight there. Um, and I thought this was a sector until I realized my rockets weren't actually blowing anything up. As you can see, I was a little frustrated in myself. I was like, well, there goes three rockets that I won't get back. Um, but being a ground attack plane, you know, the rockets uh, tend to reload pretty quickly. So uh, I've learned to, you know, take out the light, um, the light ground targets with my guns and the heavier targets with my um, with my rockets um, or with my bomb as needed. Uh, as I was dropping the bomb there, we were able to flip the um, flip the mining facility. I guess uh, one of the um, one of my friendly airplanes took out a bomber or something like that. So I'm just reloading my um, my rockets and bombs at this point. Heading over to the comm center, we've already started to flip it. Um, and I'm hoping that you know by heading heading over in this general direction, we'll be able to be a pain in the butt and actually own this particular sector. And so my first priority tends to be these um, anti-aircraft that shoot at me. Uh, you know, not the ones that shoot at the bombers. No offense. Um, Self-preservation is something I don't. Um, really pay attention to when I'm in a fighter or a heavy fighter, mainly because I feel like I can, you know, I can, I don't can self-preserve myself, so to speak. Uh, but in a ground attack plane, you really need to do everything you can do to um, keep yourself alive, right? So right now I know that we've got this um, heavy fighter that was behind me. It took me a little while to realize what it was. I think it's a uh, Key 93. Yeah, something that can really tear me up if it wanted to. Uh, but now I'm just taking the time to try to set on fire some of the heavier um, ground targets because I didn't have a light target in front of me. There we go. Almost crashed there. Good job there, Postal, for not dying. Kudos to me. So we were lucky enough to get mining facility and the comm center as I wanted to do. Um, I was initially trying to go for this multi-roll, just get a couple, couple hits into it. Um, unable to do that. And I was at the time keeping an eye on him because, you know, you know, it's pretty sad if you get killed by a P-47, and um, I didn't want that to happen. So right now my goal is to, you know, basically go to the comm center, but 
uh, see what we can do against this garrison on our way there. I noticed that I've got quite a, f a few amount of hit points there. Um, it took me a second there and I saw this um, ground pounder uh, going this way, tier 6 though. Um, and I've got to consciously make decisions to not do, you know, go defend sectors um, when I'm in <laughs> ground attack planes. Um, because I will typically, you know, my, my normal game mode, so to speak, is to defend a sector. So, nope, not doing that. Coming in hot and heavy here, right over the hill, start firing at, at um, the anti-aircraft. Two rockets are able to take out that sec that like grouping of um, buildings. And right here, I'm just trying to get my machine guns on target. Can I do it? Can I do it without crashing? I do this so often. Alright, so now we're turning. I've got my guns on target here. I'm trying to weaken them. I'm hoping that just one rocket can get both of these. I'm going to toss that one rocket down there. I've got an airplane on my tail. I'm not paying too much attention to him. I'm trying to get this sector flipped. If I die, that's okay. Um, in my head, anyway. Um, if I can get a sector flipped. So right now, I was trying to see what I could get next that would be relatively easy to flip. We've got that there. I think I'm going to drop a bomb here, maybe, yep, I'm definitely dropping a bomb here. Drop that bomb, shoot that um, soft target, try not to kill myself, and we flip the sector. Um, and at this point, I was just kind of taking a deep breath and like, okay, let's get over to the comm center. I didn't even realize there's this guy. You can see I'm just like cruising around. Um, as soon as I saw the bullets come in, I was like, oh, I'm in trouble. Got on the tail gunner and um, tried to fire a little bit there help my guy take him out and then uh, hop back on the front pilot so um, you know so far so good right every sector we've ran into we've been able to flip and um, now I'm headed over to the comm center on the far side and in the meantime I'm reloading everything uh, we've got what less than a minute on both rockets and bombs and I'm taking the long way because you know you're in a ground attack lane and of course you take the long way right um, really teaches me patience when it comes to the boost. There's no point to boosting uh, very often in a ground attack plane. Um, and all it'll do is get you to a zone that you don't really want to be in um, without you know your bombs and rockets ready anyway. So I was going to be going for the anti-aircraft to the right. Looks like that heavy took it out for me. I'm taking out these soft targets here. And my next goal is to get the anti-aircraft that's to our left. Um, get up a little bit here. I like to go for these anti aircraft especially because A, they um, they attack me, but also they've got three soft targets in front of them, so I can just take them out with my machine guns, considering I don't have any bombs or rockets. That's definitely what I want to be doing. I know my bomb's going to be coming back up pretty quickly here, so I think I'm dropping a bomb here. Maybe I'm dropping rockets. I don't know. Dropped a bomb, that's right. Yay. Um, got the anti, I mean the defense aircraft on me here, but I'm Again, I'm just kind of paying attention to what's in front of me. Letting my rear gunner do what needs to be done. Hopping on it every once in a while, you just can't tell here. And um, then trying to focus on using my bombs and rockets on the heavy um, or heavily armored targets. I'm a little bit worried because, uh, you know, I'm at 130 hit points and the squall line's now in, but we captured the zone in the meantime and so we're good to go kind of uh, in a wonky position here, right? Um, you know, the the closest um, closest sector to try to take is 24,000 feet away. Um, what is that? Five miles almost? So it's four miles. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a ways away. Um, it's kind of contemplating, you can tell I'm bored here, <laughs> kind of contemplating uh, reloading the bomb and the rockets, but really there's no point. I've got plenty of rockets, got plenty of bombs. I was just going to reload it just because it was going to take me so long to get over there. Um, and so at this point, I'm just you know flying over to to that sector. Um, was contemplating going around. Was contemplating going to the center and like actually shooting at aircraft. Um, and I thought, no, I've been having so much success just flipping sectors. Um, let's go towards this mining facility over here. Alright, so it's right about this time that I realize I'm probably not going to be making it to the mining facility in time to actually flip it. And now I'm just kind of hoping to f get to the mining facility in time to get some extra points. 
Uh, we've got less than 30 seconds and our mine is going to be getting its boost in points and capture points. So I'm just going to be flying low and quick here and coming over and seeing if I can get any damage at all done. I was a little surprised that the um, anti-aircraft uh, was shooting at me considering it's high altitude anti-aircraft, but got our machine guns on the soft, get our rockets on the hard, and or reinforced, whatever you want to call it, and dropping a bomb, but our mining facility has flipped. So I actually got a Lang here, which I haven't gotten a lot of Langs. I think this might be the second one. Uh, we'll have to see. All right, so today uh, we've got a much more, well, a much more standard ground attack game, right? Um, 16 ground targets destroyed, um, 345 capture points, uh, didn't kill any air targets, captured four sectors, was able to get uh, grade two. And you know what? I tend to have... With the IL-10, I tend to have a lot more ground success than I would than I do in the um, ME-265. A lot more fun um, in that plane, I would say, uh, but I think I'm more successful in this particular plane. Um, and I think it's because it's really like it doesn't give you the option to do anything else, right? Um, there's there's enough bombs and rockets on it where you really are focused on taking out the ground targets, um, and you know they're they're pretty darn strong. Um, you know considering we're at tier seven, it's strong armament. I know that the IL-8 is a stronger overall platform, but the IL-10 isn't a bad one at all. So yeah, I'm uh, still grinding along when it comes to these um, particular lines. Like I said, I'm not um, in any rush down, going down these lines. I still have another, what, 40,000 to go till I get the IL-20, which I know the IL-20 is going to be a good plane. Um, what, just because I know it is. <laughs> uh, you know, you're, you've are you got basically double everything. Uh, double the gun power, double the bomb power. Uh, not double, the, quite double the rockets, but uh, we've all ran into... IL-20s and we all know how strong they are so yeah I know it's gonna be a pretty darn fun plane but I am uh, you know relatively enjoying myself with the IL-10 um, you know these two tier 7s that I've got uh, as far as ground pounders are concerned I may actually keep them as odd as it sounds I'm not really a ground attack player um, but I uh, you know it's a it's a nice change of pace when you want to change of pace. In the IL-10, you could certainly do worse than the IL-10. I only got the IL-10 because the I-220 was such an absolutely wonderful plane, um, and I figured, well, what the heck? Um, if I'm going to have so much fun in this I-220, let's go ahead and uh, you know fully grind it out. And so I did exactly that. I, I earned the I-250 first, and then I wanted to keep playing it, so I earned the IL-10. Um, and I've got no regrets about that. You might as well. I'm able to skip all of these, which I've got the Tier 5, and, you know, the lower tiers, it's really... can come across as pretty frustrating, uh, because it's just kind of a cluster at that, uh, that level, Tier 6 and below. It kind of feels like that. I feel like tier seven's kind of the segue to the higher tiers where you're able to um, have more of an influence on the battle. Uh, we'll see as I go higher up the line. Anyway, thank you for joining me today, and um, I hope you got uh, some fun, if that can be had, uh, watching me play my little um, snake belly plane here. So hope you're enjoying the rest of your day, and um, I will catch you soon.